Hi there lovely YouTube viewers and welcome to my channel Heart and Soul Tarot. For those of you who don't know already I am Jay and I am here with another pick a card reading for you. This reading is to take a look at what's coming up in your love life for the month of December. So what's coming up next month in regards to love for you. We have three options. We have option one, option two and option three. Just remember these are general readings, okay? So just take what resonates for you. If you were interested in a personal reading, then you can inquire about that um, via my email, which is heartandsoultarot at outlook.com. And I will leave that in the description box below for you. Just want to say a quick thank you to anyone who has commented, liked, shared, or subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. If you need more time, then please pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to get started with Group 1. So Group 1, what is coming up in love for the month of December for you? Let's take a look at your tarot first. We have the Wheel of Fortune, that's beautiful. So an ending of a karmic cycle and a brand new beginning could be indicated with this card being here. It's also a card about good luck and things moving in your favour. So a really positive card for us to start with. And we have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. Some sort of a passionate new beginning here, okay? So those of you who are single, this could be a new person coming to you. For those of you in a current relationship, the combination of these cards indicate um, a change or... Um, yeah, change coming in, things turning around and this chance for a passionate new beginning to emerge for you. We do have the Four of Cups, okay. Now the Four of Cups can speak about a situation um, where you could be feeling a little bit disappointed, where you could be feeling um, some regret, or where there has been an offer made by yourself in the past that has been refused, or whether it's um, someone has made an offer to you, okay. What I am getting strongly with this card, okay, for, for many of you perhaps, the idea of love right now um, hasn't been at the hasn't been your number one priority then, okay? And perhaps you have been going through some sort of healing due to some sort of past rejection is what I'm getting with that, okay? And for others of you, I feel maybe it's just a long time you've been waiting um, for love to come into your life for a very long time. What I do like about this particular Four of Cups, okay, is this rain is actually refilling these cups here, okay? So that's why I think you are going through some sort of healing here. You are kind of putting yourself back together then, okay? Wow, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Now this could represent an air sign who is coming towards you. So that's Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. It doesn't have to be this energy, um, sorry, this sign, okay? It's the energy that we are talking about here more so. But this is a very fast-moving energy, okay? This is um, coming in quickly for you, is what I'm getting. We have Treasure Island, beautiful. For some of you, okay, this, um, this card here and this Knight of Swords and even the Wheel of Fortune actually could indicate somebody from the past um, that perhaps hasn't been able to take a cup of love in the past, or perhaps you've rejected this person, okay? So it could be someone from the past coming back to you. With the t um, this Treasure Island card being here, okay, we have um, this turtle here. Now, turtles are quite slow moving. So for some of you, as I say, this is something you've waited for for a long time, and now all of a sudden, here it is, it's going to be coming in to you. This Treasure Island is a very, very positive card, okay? It's about, um, you know, you can see these hearts here and there are stars as well, okay? So love and I'm reaching for the stars and a real positive omen in any reading. And for this um, love reading for December, I feel that you are going to be feeling just very happy in yourself for one okay and that's actually going to be attracting people into you as i say I do feel for many of you you're going through some sort of a healing cycle at the moment and perhaps you are appreciating yourself a little more perhaps you are applying more self-love to yourself and this is going to bring in somebody for you who is going to only enhance that is what i'm getting it's going to be a positive um 
positive relationship coming in for you and for those of you who are already in a relationship if things haven't been feeling so wonderful lately okay with this four of cups and you know that this change is coming in for you and this brand new beginning is coming in as well as fresh energy is being brought to you and you are on your way to treasure island even if it has taken a long time for you to get there okay and then we have come to the edge beautiful this is also a number nine card. So we have nine and nine here. The 9th of December could be particularly important in regards to um, your love life, okay? But with this card being here, you're being called to come to the edge. You're being called to kind of take a leap of faith is what I'm getting. And what I'm also noticing, okay, so we've got the card 36, which does come down to a nine and a nine. And this has also got these beautiful hearts all around. It's like heart confetti here. So this love I feel is going to be rushing from you and rushing to you during the month of December. We have stone people and villagers. As I was saying with this card being here, this four of cups, okay, perhaps some of you have kind of given up on the idea of love or perhaps it's a particular person you're waiting on coming back to you, okay, and you're just sort of feeling that that's never going to happen for you. These cards here are indicating, okay, that this is coming in. It's going to be a fast-moving energy as well. It's going to come in when you're not expecting it is what I'm getting, okay? Perhaps some of you, as I was saying, you're not so focused on love right now. Perhaps you are feeling um, a little bit on the lookout, or perhaps a little bit guarded at the moment, okay, in the area of love for you. We have Rest and Rejuvenation, the card 19, which comes to a 10. So we have two 10s on the table here as well, okay? And that is indicating some sort of end of a cycle for you. This card does fit very nicely with this healing that I've been speaking about. I do feel for many of you, you are going through some sort of a healing process. And for many of you, it could even be some sort of rebirth that you're in the middle of, okay? You are taking time for yourself at the moment is what I'm feeling. And you are looking after your own interests okay and this is actually attracting somebody into your life who is um i want to say who is worthy of the, the effort that you've already put into yourself they're going to only enhance things rather than if in the past you've had any relationships where it wasn't balanced i feel this person coming towards you is going to allow for this balance for you and the equal give and take is what i'm getting wow we have the heart chakra beautiful so again, this makes me think that you are going through some sort of healing at the moment, okay, and trying to overcome something from the past, okay, or for others of you, as I say, it could be just that you, you've kind of given up on the idea of love coming towards you because you've been waiting for so long. This again is a beautiful card to have, especially in, a ha in a, I was going to say a heart reading then, but in a love reading, okay. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love, beautiful. I feel for many of you in this group, okay, that past relationships perhaps haven't been very balanced. It has been you that's been doing a lot of the giving. As I was saying, I feel this relationship, this person coming towards you, is going to be giving and receiving in balance. And this card is advising you to do that same thing. I am um, feeling, as I say, that some of you are going through some sort of heart healing right now. And you are up in your self-love at this time. And this is a beautiful energy to attract beautiful souls to you. Well, we have new love. Wonderful. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospect or for spiritual growth. Wonderful. And this is the card 26. Okay, so that comes down to an Eight. you know this is a sign of infinity for some of you this could be um a new love that's going to come in that could really go the distance is what i'm feeling i feel for many of you okay you've been wishing for this new love to come in whether it's as i say from someone that you've known from the past or whether it's just love in general you're ready for that relationship to come in to you now and this is a sign that it is coming to you see how this um fairy here she's catching the shooting star i do feel that you are going to be reaching for the stars and we actually had the stars here as well didn't we so i feel that this is kind of a wish fulfillment for many of you okay and this um, beautiful new love is going to be 
coming towards you in the month of December. And then we have the card 44, which again is an 8. That's interesting. The both Whispers of Love cards have come down to the same number. And your Wisdom Oracle cards have actually come down to the same number as well. For many of you, okay, it could be that you're going to be meeting your counterpart, a soulmate, and even a twin flame, okay? And for others of you, you could already be dealing with this situation. But we have the Get to Know Each Other card here. Learn to meet another's needs for love. Beautiful. Yeah, I feel the person coming towards you is going to be very aware of how you need to be loved. I feel like I was saying it's going to be an equal give and take between the two of you. And that's going to um, allow you to understand how the other person needs to be loved. Because, you know, we're not all the same. Some people need you know, more affection than others. Some people don't like to be showered with affection. It's about bringing that balance. And I feel this is going to be a very balanced situation going forward for you. Throughout the month of December, this person coming towards you is going to allow for this balance to come in. And look how they, they're so engrossed in each other here, okay? And they really, they are getting to know each other. And I feel that you're going to be getting to know each other on a soul level. These people are looking into each other's eyes, the window of the soul. So I feel that you're going to have a deep connection with this person coming towards you in December. And it does have the possibility that this is going to be a long-lasting relationship for you. I'm actually focusing on this swan here as well, okay? So swans can represent true love. Um, and it's also about growth as well. So perhaps if this is somebody that you have been dealing with in the past, you know, perhaps you've both grown a lot in this situation and now you're actually um, turning into beautiful swans, okay? Perhaps in the past it wasn't very balanced, as I've mentioned, and things are balanced and out and there is this chance for this beautiful true love to really emerge for you. So yeah, I am seeing someone coming, kind of rushing in towards you in the month of December. And this is going to either be a brand new person, okay, or it's going to be a brand new cycle within a current situation for you. Something that is going to be very balanced. There's going to be a lot of give and take on both parts here. And it is all part of your spiritual growth is what I'm feeling, okay. And there is the opportunity for true love here with that swan as well. Definitely going through some sort of a, um, a healing act this time okay within the heart space is what I'm feeling and applying more self-love to yourself and that is going to attract this person into your life for many of you it's something you have been wishing upon a true uh been wishing upon a shooting star for and know that in the month of December that this is being brought to you this karmic cycle has come to an end and a brand new cycle within love is coming to you in the month of December and that was your reading group one I do hope this reading was helpful and if you'd like to let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation, I would really appreciate that. If you want to give a like, share and subscribe, I would really appreciate that as well and I shall see you in another reading. Thank you, bye. Okay, group two, who is coming towards you in love or what is going on in your love life in December? Okay, we have the prince of cups so this is the the page sorry i couldn't think if it was page or night then but yeah we have the page of cups so this is um somebody who could be very artistic if this could be somebody coming towards you with an apology this is someone with new romantic feelings is what i could we could be dealing with here um, I'm looking at these two birds here, okay, birds to me signify freedom, and um, they are white birds, so a pure love could be heading its way to you in the month of December. We have the sun, beautiful. So we have water energy here, okay, so that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and this is the Leo card, the sun here, but the sun card is, it's wish fulfillment, it's happy vibes, it's growth. It's a really positive omen to have in any kind of reading. It's a big fat yes, okay? So if you were wondering, are you going to find love in the near future? The answer is a big yes. For those of you in a relationship already, this indicates that things are going to be, are going to be rosy for you. Things are going 
to blossom is what I'm getting with that card being there, okay? Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. Let's take a look at your other tarot cards. And we have the Hierophant, okay, wow. Okay, so what I'm getting with this group, okay, I feel for many of you, this is... Um, you're actually in a relationship right now, okay? And for those of you who are not in a relationship, this message still applies. For those of you in a relationship, I feel that you're going to be moving to the next step, okay? It's going to be taken to the next level. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here, and we've got this Hierophant, which can speak of a committed relationship, a traditional relationship, and even a marriage, okay? And the Ten of Pentacles kind of indicates that same sort of energy as well. For those of you who are single, I feel that you are going to be meeting somebody who has the potential to be your significant other, okay? Your partner in life is what I'm getting. These are very similar colours, these cards, okay? And this purple here as well. So I feel your intuition is heightened at the moment. And perhaps you know the person that I'm speaking of, even if you're not in a relationship with this person, okay? Those of you who are single, perhaps you already know who this person is. We do have Taurus energy represented here as well with the Hierophant. And we have Earth energy, so Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo being represented with these pentacles here. Let's have a look at your oracle cards. Never-ending story. So as I said, for many of you, I think this is someone who you are already in a relationship with, okay? Or at least you know this person. For others of you who don't know this person, this is someone who is coming into your life and it's kind of a long-term thing, okay? Um, what I'm getting is for some of you, you would have already been through many cycles with this person, karmic cycles, and things are starting to balance out is what I'm getting. We do have number 37 here, okay, which comes to a 10. So a completion of a cycle has been, has come around for you and it's now a brand new cycle beginning. We have ancestors and generations, beautiful. With this card being here, okay, this person may well be, as I say, some sort of a soulmate or um, a deep connection here, okay, someone that you might have dealt with within a past life as well as what I'm feeling with that card being here. Angel of Strength, beautiful. This is card 50, which comes to a 5, signifying changes. And the Hierophant again is a number 5. So as I was saying, for those of you who have, who are already in a relationship, okay, I do see changes, big changes coming for you, whether it's moving to the next step, whether it's leaving some sort of cycle that you've been going through and starting a brand new cycle. But know that this angel of strength is around you at this time, supporting this transformation, supporting this change for you is what I'm getting. Again, I'm feeling Leo energy, okay, because of this lion here. But this card also signifies some sort of um, a soulmate connection as well. And like with the strength card in the tarot, okay, it's almost like this lady is taming the beast, okay. Perhaps you have been dealing with somebody who um, who is a little bit non-committal or is someone who who needs time in basically who needs to sort of come back to their true self okay um but yeah this angel of strength is here at the moment supporting you in these transformations and these changes and allowing for this beautiful energy to come through for you we have the second chakra archangel ariel beautiful what I'm getting with this card being here, okay, that perhaps there have been fears in the past, okay, for those, especially for those of you who are already dealing with somebody, perhaps there have been blocks and fears um, about taking this next step, but I feel that those, there's going to be this change, there's going to be a shift within this chakra, and we are, there is going to be a release, okay, going forward, allowing for things to start to progress, okay. let's take a look we have shield yourself protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you so yeah like i was saying i feel for some of you there's a case of fear stopping this connection from moving forward if it is someone that you already know if you are single and you're not dealing with anyone at the moment this is speaking about your own fears okay and your own um inhibitions i want to say to fully commit to something perhaps in the past you haven't had very good experiences okay 
but know that right now you are being really supported by your angels, your archangels at this time, in order to get that cleared out for you so that you can allow for these beautiful blessings to be coming to you. Because we have four beautiful tarot cards here, okay, representing what is going on in your love life in December. You know, really positive cards. There aren't any negative cards really on the table here. What I'm noticing is that we've actually got that beast here again, okay. Um, so, you know, this lion here. So the taming of the beast. Now, this could actually be the taming of your own fears, okay? The taming of your own, I want to say, illusions or something that you have built up around you. I'm feeling for some of you, perhaps you've actually put some sort of a block around you um, to, to stop yourself from getting hurt, but it's actually blocking your blessings as well is what I'm getting. But I feel that lifting away. And a great way for you to step forward and to feel safe and protected, okay, is to envision yourself with this beautiful healing light all around you. And know that your archangels and your angels, your ancestors as well, okay, they're all here supporting you, allowing for you to dispose of anything that's no longer serving you, including these fears, okay? And then we have, have patience, number 17. Love is patient and kind, always beautiful. This is actually 17, it comes down to an 8, okay, so infinity. Like I was saying for some of you, okay, this could be a situation that you are already in where fears have kind of stopped you from moving on to the next step, whether it's fears from you or the deep person you are dealing with. You've been advised to have patience at the moment, okay, because this situation really is worth waiting for is what I'm getting, okay, especially with the cards that are on the table here, they are absolutely beautiful energies, long-standing energies, you know, the sun is the happiest card in the tarot. This um, patience card actually reminds me of the star card as well in the tarot deck, so this is about wish fulfillment. You could be having dreams at this time, okay? It's also about healing as well. So I do feel that you are healing and releasing any fears during the month of December, allowing for this beautiful relationship to come towards you. You could be having lots of ideas come to you at this time as well, okay? Whether it's business ideas, whether it's what you truly want from a relationship for some of you as well. This clear understanding of what you will and won't accept within a relationship. Um, I want to say for many of you, don't be afraid to have boundaries, okay? Um, just because you, you're being advised to sort of let these this guard down, you can still have safe boundaries. And it's far better to have boundaries than these fears holding us back is the message I'm getting there. And then we have physical touch, number 47, which is number 11, soulmate connection perhaps. Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much, beautiful. I feel you are a very tactile person, okay? And um, you do like um, the physical side of a relationship, you know, not just the um, the sex side of it, but the, the holding of hands and the cutching, which is cuddling, for those of you who don't know what cutching is. Cutching is a Welsh word for cuddling. Um, yeah, just the, the little softness, that comes with a relationship. I feel that you are a very tactile person and this is the kind of thing that you really appreciate about a relationship. But I feel that's going to be increasing for you. I feel the person, if you are dealing with someone already or if this person is coming towards you in the month of December, I feel that it's going to be a very physical relationship and not just with regards to sex, in regards to, as I say, holding hands, little kisses, the simple little things that I feel for many of you mean so much. This path here, okay, these, these lovers are about to embark on this journey together, okay, into the unknown. We can't always know the answers at the end of it is what I'm getting. For some of you, perhaps you are a little too focused on needing to know the end result, okay, um, and that might be where your fears kick in or perhaps the person you're dealing with it's their energy that is like this, okay? Um, but yeah, these people are going to take this risk and they are going on that journey together. And I do see you going on a journey with this person that you're either dealing with or is coming towards you in December. And I do see an elevation in um, the commitment within your relationship, okay? It does have the potential to go the long haul. I do see growth within your relationship. I see 
blossoming abundance come in towards you as well and I feel the release of fears within the month of December is going to be very significant for you as well. So that was your reading group two. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with your situation. I do hope you found this reading helpful. And if you'd like to give a like, share and a subscribe, I would really appreciate that as well. And I shall see you in another reading. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, group three. What is going on in your love life in the month of December? Let's take a look. Okay, we have the Hermit. This is Virgo's energy being represented straight away here. For many of you, you've actually gone within, okay? You, you're on some sort of a soul journey here. You're trying to find your own inner light. Then we have the Emperor in reverse. So this is Aries energy. Let's take a look at your other tarot cards. We have the Moon. Wow, when we have judgment, you have all major arcanas. Massive transformations in your life in general. Huge things going on in December in regards to love, okay? I am getting that for many of you, you could already be dealing with some sort of a soul connection. And for others of you, this is a deep soul connection coming towards you. I do feel for a lot of you, perhaps you're not too focused on love right now. Perhaps you are on some sort of a spiritual journey and you're focusing there right now. I'm actually going to get some clarification. Okay, so the hermit. Why is the hermit here, please? Why is the hermit here for group three, please? We have the knight of wands. So this is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Okay, actually get another clarification. We have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel for many of you, okay, this is, um, you are healing right now from a past situation, okay? It could have been um, a past situation where someone who was very defensive, very um, deceptive even, and rather sneaky, okay? Um, and with the Knight of Wands being here, there could have even been this kind of player energy about this person. With the Emperor being in reverse, okay, the Emperor in the upright is um, standing in your power. For one, it represents the Divine Masculine energy as well. But what I'm getting with it being in reverse is that there is no more illusion. There's no more illusion and there's no more false mask. The Emperor um, can kind of put on a bit of a front. I feel that you dropped any front that you might have been holding up in regards to love, okay? And as I'm saying that, we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel it's when this happens, okay, when you kind of surrender is what I'm getting, surrender to the Divine, that's when this love is coming towards you, this beautiful Knight of Cups energy here. The moon can speak about our intuition, it can speak about fears as well. I feel that you're an intuitive person. You can also represent Pisces, okay? Let's get some clarification for the moon, please. And we have the hanged man, which again is Pisces energy. And the nine of swords did jump out at the same time, okay? I feel for many of you, okay, you are at the moment, you're a little bit closed off to love, okay, perhaps they say love isn't on your mind so much at the moment, I feel that you are going through some sort of a soul journey, that you are um, healing perhaps from a past situation which wasn't so pleasant, okay, but I feel that there's going to be a break here in the cycle, okay, the moon here, the moon goes through cycles, the hanged man man indicates a change of perspective looking at things a bit differently and the things that you're going to be looking at differently is this nine of swords energy okay so this anxiety or if you've been feeling any negativity sleepless nights things like that i feel are going to come to an end for you in december okay this is when some real transformation is going to occur for you you also have the judgment card now this is some sort of perhaps a wake-up call for you this is some sort of enlightenment coming for you um it could be that you're dealing with somebody at the moment okay and this is the energy that they are experiencing at the moment okay perhaps they are experiencing this enlightenment and this light being shone on the situation and we actually have the sun to clarify it okay so beautiful blessings are coming their way to you there is a situation here okay 
that has caused you to grow a lot you've had to grow a lot you've overcome a lot in recent times is what i'm getting okay and now it's time for your sunshine you've had your wake up call is what i'm getting you're looking at things differently in the month of december and that's when blossom in abundance and this beautiful sunny energy is coming to you just gonna get one more clarification for the judgment and the sun please one more card please there we go and this is oh we have the devil okay for some of you, okay, oh, well, at the bottom we have the Two of Cups, as I was just about to say. For some of you, you are already dealing with this person um, and you are in love with this person already, okay? This is a mutual love because we have this Two of Cups here. You're dealing with some sort of soulmate and this soulmate, you know, soulmates don't necessarily stick around forever. They do come into our lives and that we are meant to meet them so that we can learn many lessons. And I feel that like you have learned many lessons, with the devil card being there, it does represent a Capricorn energy, okay? But it's kind of like the opposite of the lover's card, okay? So it again indicates some sort of a soul connection here, but perhaps things haven't always been sunny and rosy, okay? Like I was saying, for many of you, I feel that you are going through some sort of healing. You've dealt with a situation that hasn't been so pleasant, but this sun is coming to shine in on anything that has been um, tarnished, I want to say, by this devil energy, okay? It can also speak of your own fears here as well, okay? So um, being bound to your own fears and perhaps you're a little afraid to take steps forward because of what's happened in the past. But with this beautiful card kind of being the last tarot card that we're going to look at for you today, this does tell me that someone is coming towards you. You have been dealing with some sort of a soul connection, okay? Someone is coming towards you with the opportunity perhaps to um, reunite with somebody or this could be someone brand new for others of you is what I'm getting okay but yeah there's light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm getting strongly for you big transformations massive transformations you know even your clarification cards we've got one two three major arcanas here you've got big things going on in your life right now huge transformations are occurring within your life in general and specifically within the love area as well okay do feel that you're going to be letting go of any anxieties any fears that have been holding you back a new change in perspective is what i'm seeing for you going forward allowing for this true love to come towards you we have mending and healing so this mending card, okay, I do feel that you are going through some sort of a mending cycle. I am getting, you know, twin flame vibes from this because it's kind of, you know, this person, for those of you who are already dealing with a person, okay, this person does have loving feelings for you, but I don't feel they've always expressed that in a very positive manner, okay. I feel that you are healing yourself right now. For those of you who are not dealing with a counterpart, okay, this is kind of coming in for you okay this soulmate connection is coming in for you after this time of mending and after you've done some inner healing work yourself i'm being drawn to the number here okay 52 so that's a seven this could be of significance i noticed we have seven 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 here okay you could be seeing synchronized numbers all the time um, but what I'm really getting with that is that, you know, this could have been a situation that you have been dealing with, you know, for seven months, seven years even, okay? Or perhaps it's just something that you've wanted to come into your life um, or you've been doing this inner healing work for this amount of time. But I feel that seven is of significance here. We have love and compassion, beautiful. So yeah, like I was saying, true love is on its way to you. I feel you're a compassionate person as well, okay? Um, I feel that... I feel that people come to you for advice, they come to you for healing as well, okay? Perhaps you are a light worker, an empath, um, or a healer yourself, okay? But people reach out to you, and I do see somebody reaching out to you in a loving and compassionate way as well during the month of December. We have deceit in the reverse. For many of you, okay, this is someone you are already dealing with. I feel for the vast majority of you, this is someone you're already dealing with. And I want to say that because we've got this seven of swords here, okay, which clearly indicates 
deceptive behaviour, okay? It can indicate someone who has not played fair at all. Again, with a Knight of Wands, a little bit of a player energy, and this has actually caused you to go within yourself, to do some inner healing work yourself, okay? It's triggered you, if you like. But now we have the Deceit in reverse, and actually it's number 25, so it's seven again. Seven is of significance, without a doubt, for this group. Deceit is in reverse. This person is coming towards you with true intentions, is what I'm feeling, okay? We have crystals. The energy of crystals support you and help you with your present situation. Like I was saying, I feel for many of you, you are life workers or you're empaths or something like that. So the energy of crystals is going to have a very, very positive effect on you. It is going to help to elevate your vibrations at this time. And I feel that is why this card is here. It's also, um, you know, with the colours there, we've got the blue and the purple. So it's about truth and it's about listening to your intuition i feel that you're a highly intuitive person and perhaps in the past you have been a bit reluctant to trust your intuition because maybe your intuition is telling you one thing and this particular person is telling you something completely different but you know your truth is what i'm getting with that and you can rely on your intuition within this situation okay we have forgiveness number 29 nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment I feel that you are going through this forgiving stage at the moment. Part of this inner healing is going to allow for this forgiveness, okay? Um, and, you know, whether it's forgiving this person from the past and allowing them back into your life or whether it's just forgiving this person just so that you can move on and achieve your own two of cups, okay, without this person. Either way, this forgiveness is really important for your own benefit, okay? It's not for the other person, it's for you, so that you don't have to carry the burden of other people's mistakes around with you, is what I'm getting with this card here. It's card 29, okay, which is, you know, number 11. So we have 11, 11 here, okay? So, yeah, definitely could be dealing with a twin flame here. Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provide a sense of security and self-worth. That's absolutely beautiful. I do feel that, you know, you are... I feel for many of you, you're in some sort of a soul connection here, okay, twin flame, whatever you want to call this connection, and this has really triggered you to do your own inner healing work, okay? Um, you know, what I was saying about this forgiveness card, about, you know, if you want to let this person back into your life, the important thing, I think, to remember with twin flames is that we don't always have to unite again with our twin flames. Sometimes they do just come into our lives to trigger this healing, so that we can move forward without without this devil energy, without this negativity, without our fears. You know, it could be physical addictions for some of you. You know, it could be an addiction to a negative thought pattern. It could be an addiction to work. It doesn't have to be, you know, drinking alcohol. But what I'm feeling is that you two met so this healing would occur. I do feel perhaps this person is going to be coming towards you, okay? Um, for many of you, I do feel they are coming back and you're being asked to forgive, okay? I'm not saying let them back into your life at all. That's entirely up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. Only you know what is best for you and your soul journey. But yeah, regardless of whether you let this person back, I feel it is important um, for this healing and this forgiveness to occur and for perhaps for some of you it could just be a conversation that needs to be had okay just so that you can move forward into more sunny times okay because i do feel that you've had a huge change of perspective it could be in regards to this person okay perhaps you're not feeling that you need to be with this person anymore despite having this really really intense and passionate connection with them but yeah, love makes the difference. And love right now, this compassion that you're allowing yourself, this forgiveness that you're allowing yourself and others at the moment is making a huge difference in your healing at the moment. It is setting you up for very good things in the future. And I do see that, you know, you are going to have a union with someone of significance, okay? It doesn't have to be this person from the past. But I do feel that December is very significant in regards to the healing and the forgiveness for this situation so that you can move forward into better times, into more sunny times. And you've had this judgment call, a decision has been made as well as what I'm feeling or it's going to be made in December, okay? And you're going to fully understand in which direction you wish to move in in regards to your love life. 
And that's what I have for you, group three. I hope this video was helpful and if it does resonate, please do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to like, share and subscribe, I would really appreciate that as well. And I shall see you in another reading. Thank you very much. Bye.